Hello guys and welcome back to Dreamworld. In this episode we're going to talk about few important aspects of the game. One of them is machining, electric smelting and uh, crematorium. Because recently we discovered crematorium. For all of them you will need research. So in the research things in here we have crematorium for 450 points of research. Electric smelting and machining for 1000 each. They are all very useful and important items. So the first thing of all, let's go with crematorium, because as you can see we have plenty of these dead body, bodies in here and also because we lost some guys recently, when you click on your people in here, colonies left unburied. Until you bury the colonies, this thing will be permanently on. That causes quite a bit of, you know, ups upset really to people that it, this thing is on. So what do you want to do? You want to go to Bill in here, add Bill and cremate the corpses. Pretty much you want to do it forever because that's how it is. And your crafter will be doing it. Do it forever, you can select the radius if you want to, you can dictate what sort of corpses. Non-animals will be cre cremated unless you want them to. And you can allow buried or unburied as well. So if you have corpses that are unburied or buried like in the grave, you can allow it. I will allow it because why not? And I will leave the radius a little bit smaller than that, like that. So now, if we create, click on anyone, cremating of the granite crematorium. So he will pick up the body now, he will place it inside and cremate it. The only problem is you have to be careful because when you have these people in here, he will cremate... Oh, he strips them now. Okay, that's better. It was never the case that they used to. They used, to, they used to not strip them, now they will strip the bodies before cremating, so it's awesome, okay. So yeah, if you have these people, they will cremate all the bodies that we find, that's all the raiders that kind of at attacked us over time in here. So we'll get rid of all the bodies. Just be careful with people that work in the bodies, because they will get the penalties for observe the corpse times two. So the more fresh corpses he observes, the worse it's going to get for him. So you don't want just one person permanently working in your crematorium, you want quite a few of them actually doing it. Or at least rotate them every now and then. Or keep it up to date. So we'll cremate all the bodies, and that's the most important thing in here. But also, the most importantly, you want to make sure that your actual colonies that died in here are cremated. So click on them and make sure they are unchecked to be taken back to base. Also take the minigun, that's a great weapon, take it. Okay, so I cremated all the bodies and as you can see the, the colonies left unburied penalty is gone. So now they will be a little bit happier for it and they will break less. That is the important thing that you have to do. You have to make sure that your colonies are buried. Next thing I would like to focus on is electric smelter. Electric smelter allows you to smelt metal from the slug or smell metal from weapons. So if you have a crappy weapons that sometimes you get from the people that you attack, I at this very moment don't, but if you kill people and they, they drop the weapon like a knife or other, we other weapons, you can melt them into metal. So you can reuse them. So you can set the bill and in here in this bill you can select what sort of weapons you want. So if you have a weapon, and let's say that you only want to melt weapons that have less than 20% hit points, so they're going to break anyway, so you want to smelt weapons like that. And you can set it as uh, like that, and do forever. That's one bill you want to set yourself. Usually 20% weapons are rubbish anyway, so you want to melt them. And the other bill that you want to sm set yourself is smell metal from the slag. You want to do it forever as well, because you need metal. Slag is... Materials that comes from, sometimes you find them here. Steel slug chunks. They will produce some steel. So let's grab one of them. And just move it and uh, do it. Let's grab Axel, for example, and tell him to do it. He will go all the way there. He will grab. Okay, he will grab the met He grabbed the weapon first. So let's. Okay, metal, sl uh, metal slug chunk, that's what he's going to do. So yes, Axel, do it, please. He will pick it up. He will be there in the smelter for a bit. It's not the fastest process, so as you can see, it takes quite a while to smelt one chunk. But it's done. 
eventually and it gives you 10 10 metal so that's kind of good thing ready to have and we also have a fire so let's just drop everybody to get rid of this fire here also with the fires inside it's dangerous because look at the temperatures temperature is indoor plus 92 if you have a fire inside and you can't extinguish it quickly enough get rid of the roof like seriously get rid of the roof i can i can link into the video when the temperature of the of this building in here was above 1000 degree so that's mental you don't want that people will die immediately from the heat stroke so that's the that's how you use the electric smelter it's useful you know you don't don't say no to free metal especially that you have these things lying around your base we got them here as well from the destroyed ship as well so you can use them it allows you to recover some of the lost resources like if this exploded you would get the material from it as well and the last thing I would like to talk about is machining table. That's the thing we need. You can make the artillery shell. We're using there for mortars. We don't need them at the moment, but just to show you, you will need some steel. And 10 steel will allow you to make one artillery shell. If you want them, you can use it like that. We're not going to do it because we don't need it at the moment. And disassemble mechanoids. That's one of the item. That's one thing you want to have permanently on. Just make sure the radius is not too big because you don't want it to go too far out of your base. So if you have some dead mechanoids in the field, you don't want to grab them. Now, let's Axel place that and we'll grab him. Okay, let's click on the table. Prieto is working. He will pick up this mechanoid that we killed in the last episode, take it to the machining table and he will get rid of it. As you can see from this one, he gets quite a bit of steel and there's even more steel in here. And the plus steel. So it's really useful to get rid of mechanoids. Plus steel is the essential item that you want to have to build your escaping ship. So that's the that's something you want to do. It wasn't really that much in this episode, the guys, that we learned today. But I think it was all relatively useful for you. And that's something that you want to be doing, especially this machining table. If you manage to survive through this five fight with the mechanoids you know it costs you a lot go and go and build this table because it's essential okay guys that's it in this episode i hope you enjoyed it as always you learned something useful especially about the machining table and i will see you guys next time we are nearly ready to finish this game here